Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we drew a cumulative frequency curve for a distribution. In this video, we are going to learn about measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency. When analyzing data obtained from a survey, we desire to have a term that best describes the whole data. So usually, after collecting data from a survey, we would like to have a term, that is one term, that best describes the whole data. In most cases, you realize that all the data points in the survey is clustered around or centered around a particular term and that term best describes the whole data. For example, let's consider the table we have here that shows the ages of students in a particular class and their corresponding frequencies. In order to analyze this data, we would like to have an age that best describes the age of a student in this class. The ages of all the students in the class will be centered around or clustered around that particular age. A term around which there is a concentration of terms of the data is called a measure of central tendency. So the term around which all the other terms in the data is clustered around or concentrated around is called a measure of central tendency. So if you consider the distribution we have here, the age around which all the other ages is concentrated or the age around which all the other ages is clustered around is known as the measure of central tendency. The measures of central tendency are also known as the averages of the frequency distribution. So the measures of central tendencies are also known as the averages. In our lesson, we are going to consider three of these averages. They are the mean, the mode, and the median. These are the three averages that we will consider. Remember, we said these averages are also known as measures of central tendency. And it is a term around which there is a concentration of all the terms in the data. We will begin with the mean in the next video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the mean of a set of numbers. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the mean of a set of numbers. Bye-bye.